Hello, my name is Dr. Suzanne Power and I'm a lecturer in hospitality management at Ulster University Business School. I want to talk to you today about how the Ulster University Business School is contributing to the sustainable development goal number 14, which is life below water. Our coastal and marine resources supply a wide range of goods and services, uh, including seafood, outdoor recreation, wildlife habitat and coastal protection. And that's why sustainable development goal number 14 is so important. Marine litter plays a big role in sustainable development goal number 14 and it poses a serious threat to our coastal environments. In Northern Ireland, we can find on average 375 pieces of litter for every 100 meters of beach. Just to put this into context, that means that for every step you take on the beach, you're stepping over approximately four pieces of litter. Now, our research looks at both uh, preventative and reactive measures to uh, beach litter. So for example, my own research, I was able to explain through the theory of environment, environmental leisure activism, um, the phenomenon of beach cleaning. So why do people go beach cleaning, picking up other people's litter and how it is actually not just an activity of environmental protection but also a leisure activity. Um, I'm also currently editing a um, special issue on litter-free tourism uh, just to see how we can further help with reducing the impact of marine litter on our environment. Now you will now hear from my colleagues who will talk about their own research and um, the teaching that they do in the Department of Hospitality and Tourism Management at Ulster University Business School. Our beaches are a space with great value to humans and beyond. The problem is that human behaviour is damaging them, including through leaving litter that can then enter the marine environment. To address this seemingly paradoxical behaviour, damaging what we value in the first place, I'm using a new model that combines behavioural science and user-centred design. My research aims to dig deeper, to identify what will enable pro-environmental behaviour, to trial a new way of engaging and informing policy decisions, and to design and review an intervention. All of this seeks to identify how we can use behavioural understanding to approach sustainability challenges like this one and others to better protect our coastal and marine environment. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Gillies. I'm lecturer and course director in culinary arts management at Ulster University here in Belfast. Sustainable development goal number 14, life below water, really about conserving and using the oceans in a sustainable manner, focusing on that sustainable development. The oceans, as you may know, cover over 70% of our planet and we rely on the oceans for food, for energy and obviously for water. The total turnover of the UK fishing fleet was 843 million in 2020 and more locally the fishing industry in Northern Ireland is worth 28 to 30 million. So it's huge given the fact that we now only have three main fishing ports in Northern Ireland. Within both our degrees, culinary arts management and international hospitality management, we focus on seafood and embed the sustainable development goal number 14 into teaching both on a practical and a theoretical level. It's vital that the future of our industry, the future leaders of our industry are aware of sustainable fishing, sustainable food sourcing and food providence. The actions that we take now by embedding this into our curriculum can make a real difference. Thank you.